Hello everyone, this is Gary and today we're doing another travel video. Now, as with all my travel videos, this is somewhere that I have visited and I thought it was well worth doing this video because I thought it was well worth a visit and I would recommend it if you're in the area or you're planning a holiday in this area that it is well worth thinking about going to this place as well. Now you will find in this video some background, some history, some information about the place and much of the detail of what I have uh, uh, been saying in this video will also appear in the description box if you want to have a look as well as some links to some other travel videos that may be uh, relevant and worth uh, considering. You'll also find in the background, as I'm telling you about the place, uh, some pictures uh, to show you what is involved, what it looks like, and to help inform that decision, as I've said, as to whether you make a visit as well. Or if you're just generally interested in this place, well, again, this video uh, is for you, I hope. But really, there's not much more for me to say other than let's just get into it. Okay, so we are looking today at the works of Rex Whistler. So, who was Rex Whistler, you may ask? He was a British painter, a designer, illustrator, and sadly he was killed in action in the Second World War. As a result, it is said that his work here at Plas Newith was unfinished, but some would also say it's one of his finest and largest paintings for sure, some 58 by 12 feet. 17 meters by 3 meters. How did this come about? Well, one of the changes made to Plas Newith, according to the National Trust, was combining uh, three small servants' rooms to create a long, narrow dining room. Um, and in doing so, the family sought a mural artist to transform the space, which is where the relationship between uh, Rex Whistler and uh, Plas Newith first began. Um, now, again, according to the National Trust, he first visited Plas Newith in April 1936 and at that stage had a good idea of what the theme would be and that it should be inspired by the views from the dining room looking towards Snowdonia and over the Menai Strait. And this you can see in the pictures I have shown. Uh, the canvas was uh, painted separately um, in his uh, studio in London and then transported to Plas Newith and applied to the wall. Now much of what you see in this mural is imaginary, but does include many uh, family references and there are images of architecture that Rex had visited. Um, so is it really unfinished? Well, it is said he always intended to return to complete what is now known as his masterpiece and unfinished elements uh, include the central Mediterranean tower and the clouds above it. It is said that Rex had the intention of returning after the Second World War and a clue to that was that there was a cigarette left smoking in the corner. Now, other pictures uh, which are featured at the house include a number of self-portraits, one of which uh, you've also seen, uh, which includes a portrait of himself lying on the grass at uh, Plas Newith in about 1939, uh, looking towards the mansion, towards the Menai Strait and the mountains of Snowdonia in the background. Uh, the other uh, family portrait, uh, including himself as a self-portrait element, uh, is known as the uh, conversation piece. And you'll see uh, in that uh, that he stood to one side uh, of the room and uh, from left to right you can see the various members of the family. And he is uh, there standing uh, painting. This piece is also said to be unfinished, um, but it gives us an insight into the way in which he would paint and which sections he would paint first and how he would paint a base before moving on to the detail. So that then is Rex Whistler and his importance to Plas Newith uh, and his influence as an artist uh, cannot be underestimated and I would say it is well worth a visit.
Okay, so that was just a short summary, a short travel video about the place. Obviously, there is way more that you can find out and discover if you go there yourself or if you do some research as I have done, but I hope that it will give you a little bit of a background, a little bit of information, um, which will enable you to have a look further if you're interested in going to this place. Now, if you like this video, please mark it as a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, well then please subscribe. And apart from that, there's nothing really left to say except thank you very much for watching this video. And bye for now.